for this recording of how to install and use the simple voice chat. So what we're going to do is we are going to first go to download the mods. First mod you will need can be found here at curseforge.com forward slash minecraft forward slash mc dash mods. That will take you to this mod section, and what I tend to do is look for fabric mods. Then I sort by last updated. Personally, that's what I do. If you want to bookmark this, you can, but it's not even necessary. But what we're going to do is look for simple voice chat. Find it here. Click on it, scroll down a little bit. It might look a little bit different if you have it in full screen, but scroll down here to recent files and go to 117 and download the most recent file, which in this case was from three days ago. You can either click on the down arrow or click on it to see a little bit more about it and press download. I'm not going to do that because I already have it. So, well, well, hmm. What we're also going to do is we're also going to go and find Fabric API. Fabric API is right here. And you can just click on it, scroll down to the most recent one for 117. Oops. The most recent one for 117 and push the download button, which I'm not going to do because I already have it. Um, just take note, it might take up to five seconds for it to download because they have things on their website. Anyways, yeah. Um, so the next place we're going to need to go to get the mod loader, because these mods run on Fabric mod loader, we're going to need to go to fabricmc.net. Up here is a button that says use. Then you're going to download whatever is applicable for you, either for Mac and Linux or for Windows. So you're going to download the Windows EXE and continue on from there. Okay. Then you're going to go into your Finder, or not Finder, your File Explorer. I'm sure it will have been put into Downloads. And right at the top should be Fabric Installer, as well as those two mods you downloaded. What we're going to do is run the Fabric Installer. Make sure it's on client, 117, it doesn't matter what version, and it will be set to go to your .micro folder in your roaming automatically. So that should be good. Then create profile and install. It shouldn't take long at all. It's very tiny. And then that should be it. Then you should be able to close this. And then those two mods you downloaded, you're going to cut them. Um, so right click and uh, I said right click and cut, then you're going to put them in percent app data percent up there and then you're going to go into your dot minecraft folder mods and then paste them in here like has been done right there and that should be it then all you have to do is go to your minecraft launcher Make sure over here it says fabric, which I don't actually have right now. Um, just make sure it says fabric and press play. The game should load up just fine, and that should be that. Um, then, once you're in game, like me, on the server, the default button for this mod is V for Victor. Well, although I changed it. So then you should be greeted with this. Here's settings in case you need to raise and lower your volumes. You can actually adjust individual player volumes if there was another player online. You could you test your, your microphone. microphone. Just like that. Um, you can select a microphone if you want a different one. Like if you have a webcam that has a built-in microphone and you don't want that and you want your headset or your desktop mic. Uh, speaker you can change, but it should change to whatever Windows defaults to. You can also set it to a push to talk. The default push to talk key is Caps Lock, which personally I would change to almost anything else. 
Um, yeah, so that's that. And then if we go back to delete again, here's another nice feature, which is groups. So you can actually create a group called anything you want, and then plus plus. Then you'll be added to this group. Then whenever people go to that screen as well, they'll be able to see um, your group and join it. So one nice thing about this is that it is not tied to proximity. It is not tied to directional uh, stereo audio. So you can hear people a little bit better and you don't have to worry about, for instance, going to the nether while you're chatting with someone. And they just suddenly stop talking because you're no longer within range. But anyways, oh, so that's a nice thing. There's also a way to mute and disable voice chat. Um, uh, there we go. Uh, then you can also hide the icon. So if you're speaking and it will not appear in this corner, then disable voice chat completely or mute. If you go to options, there's also controls for this. So if you scroll all the way down to voice chat, Personally, this is what I have done. I have my mute set to pause, which is on pause break. And I've changed it to delete because I have a few other mods installed that do other things as well. So yeah, hopefully that was a little help to you and hope you download it and see you in game. Talk to you later.